To set up motion detection, the camera needs to have a low-resolution analytic stream set up with analytics enabled. It also requires recordings enabled on preferably a high-res stream. A database where the associated recordings can be stored must also be available. Once these requirements are met, the video analytics can be set up. This is accomplished by clicking the Video Analytics option in the Setup screen and then opening an existing instance or clicking New to create a new analytics instance for the camera. Set up the zone where the motion must be detected. Using the default is the entire screen with very high sensitivity and a motion size of between 1 cell and 1600 cells. This will cause any motion in the scene to trigger the algorithm. Clicking the trigger option allows the VMD trigger parameters to be set. Once again the defaults will be used. 1000 millisecond hold time will be used. This means that the motion must continue for one second before the algorithm is triggered. Click OK to close the setup window. The next step is to set up what event happens or action to take when the trigger occurs. Click on the events option and give it a descriptive name. Remember that events can be very complex, so for purposes of this video, the defaults will be used. On the General tab, ensure that the schedule for when the event is active is selected, the default being Always. Clicking the Trigger tab allows the trigger for this event to be selected. In this case, the motion detection that was set up. The hold time setting causes the trigger to be held active for this length of time and the schedule is the times that the trigger is active. Clicking OK stores the settings. Select the Actions tab and create a new action. For simplicity, the action taken will be to record the scene at a high resolution when the trigger occurs. So choose Record Camera. In the resulting pop-up window, choose the appropriate camera. Ensure that the correct database is being used for the recording and also make sure that the correct stream and frame rate is used. Free events would add footage prior to the trigger. Clicking the OK button saves the event settings. We now have a scenario where, if there is motion detected in the room, the scene in the room will be recorded to a database. The camera view can be accessed and when there is motion, it is recorded. Opening the database tab, the user can navigate to the relevant database entry. By double-clicking on the entry, the operator can view the footage. One obvious problem that can be seen is that the video analytics trigger needs to be refined to prevent tiny motion or shadows or changes in light intensity and small objects triggering the event. Thank you for watching.